Here are two legit ways to get a working stretched resolution in Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 2. Both methods will give you higher FPS and lower input lag, with the second method possibly giving even lower input lag. I'd say try the first method before attempting the second one, as it's much easier to do, and if you're satisfied with that, it's all good. Let's start by opening the Start menu and searching up the NVIDIA Control Panel, or if you have an AMD GPU, use AMD's Control Center. Now here on the left side, click on Change Resolution. Then here at the bottom, click on this Customize button. Then tick this box for enabling resolutions not exposed by the display, and then click on this button to create a custom resolution. This is where you can now type in whatever stretched resolution you want. I'm gonna go with the 1440 by 1080, but you can go with whatever you'd like. Make sure the refresh rate is set to the highest your monitor can run, and then to confirm, click on Test. You'll see the resolution actually being set, and if everything looks good, click on Yes to save it. Here you can see all your custom resolutions you make. Just make sure they're enabled and click on OK. Now when you scroll all the way up in this box here, at the top are listed all your custom resolutions. Pick the one that you created and click on Apply to use it. Now when you launch Fortnite, go into your settings and set your window mode to windowed full screen and the game will realize and set the stretched resolution. Now if you want to revert back into your native resolution after you're done gaming, it's as simple as finding your native resolution in this list in the NVIDIA control panel, making sure your refresh rate is correct and apply the changes. Now let's move on to the second method. I'd say watch this entire section of the video first before following along with your own systems because it requires a bit of initial setup, but afterwards you'll have the lowest input lag plus the other benefits of a stretched res. So let's start by opening up Google and searching custom resolution utility and click on this first website here, which is monitortests.com. This is the most legit download source for this program. Click on this link right here to download CRU. Once the download is done, open the download folder, right click on the zip file and extract it. Double click on CRU.exe to launch the program. When asked for admin perms, click on yes. Here at the top, make sure you have your correct monitor selected if you have more than one monitor. Next, at the bottom left, click on this None button. Then in this Extension Blocks section, you'll see one single entry like this one on mine. Select it and click on this Edit button. Next here in the Detailed Resolution section, out of all the options, select the highest resolution you have with the highest refresh rate and double click on it. Then we're not gonna change anything here, just click on this copy button and close both of these windows. Next in this standard resolution section, click on this delete all button. And also click on the delete all button up here in the detailed resolution section too. Now click on this add button in the standard resolution section, select your monitor's native resolution and leave the refresh rate as it is and click on OK. Next click on the Add button up here on Detailed Resolutions, then click on the Paste button. Now this is where you can type in your custom resolutions. You don't need to change anything other than this section. Type in whatever you want. In this case, I went with a 1680 by 1080 resolution. Click on OK when you're done, and that should be it. Click OK on the main window. Now all we need to do is restart the computer. You can use this Restart EXE in the CRU folder, or you can just restart using any other method. After the restart, open Windows Settings and navigate into Display Options. In Display Options, scroll down and click on Advanced Display Options. And then click on Display Adapter Properties. Then click on List All Modes. Go ahead and scroll all the way down and you'll find whatever custom resolution you've set earlier. Select that resolution and click on Apply and OK to set it. Now, after applying the changes, You'll notice that it now mentions the active signal mode is the same as the desktop mode. This is how you'd know that this method worked. Now, if you want to switch to your native resolution, you do the same thing as before. And in the list all modes window, find your native resolution with the correct refresh rate. Then just apply the changes. If you want to revert all the changes made using CRU in the CRU folder, there's an EXE called reset all.exe. 
double click to run it, click on yes on the admin perms, and yes on this window. After that, just restart the PC and it's all good. And as a last, last resort, if something seems broken because of CRU. CRU works by modifying your graphics drivers, and so you should try reinstalling your graphics drivers, and that should fix everything if you're running into any issues.